Good morning and welcome to day two of the Wise Guy Challenge. I am so glad that you have tuned in with us today. If you missed day one, I encourage you to go back and see day one so that you can just be in step with what we're doing. We are going through the book of Proverbs this month, uh, the next chapter each day this month, and just putting out this challenge. There's such a need for wisdom in our culture today. There's such a need for truth, and God is truth. And so the best place to go to find wisdom and to find truth is his word. And so we are getting into his word this month and taking this wise guy challenge and going through the book of Proverbs. So here we are in day two chapter two of Proverbs, and I'm gonna read the first couple verses. It says, my son, girls, you're included too. My kids, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. That's so great. I love that. Then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. When? When will I actually find understanding and understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge? When, go back to verse one, you accept my words, you store up my commands, you apply them in your heart, you call out for insight, you call out for understanding, you look for it like you would for treasure. So many people go running for wealth and riches. That's, you know, to each their own, but to, to search for the wisdom of the Lord and the fear of the Lord and the understanding of the Lord like you would for treasure, that you know is there. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds success. How many people go running after success? The Lord holds success in store for the upright. For who? For the upright. He is a shield for those who walk, whose walk is blameless for he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful one. Then, there's that word again, then you will understand what is right and just and fair in every good path. When? When you accept the words of the Lord, store up the commands, apply it to your heart, call out for insight and understanding, look for it like it's treasure. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair and good for wisdom will enter your heart. My friends, I encourage you to seek the wisdom that comes from God, to seek knowledge and understanding that comes from God. Get into the presence of the Lord. Say, God, take the blinders off my eyes. Unplug my ears so I can hear from you, so I can understand your word. Because our world around us is full of so much crazy untruths. People take a little tea truth and they blow it way out of proportion. This is big T truth. This is absolute truth. And when you seek the Lord and you go after it with an open heart, God will show you and he will give you knowledge and he will give you understanding and he will give you wisdom. Seek it as if it is treasure. It is there for you. Have an amazing day and God bless.